have you ever struggled with correcting the pronunciations of unusual or foreign words while using Articulate Storyline? If yes, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Sabah Musharraf, and before I delve into how SSML tags can be used to fix pronunciations, let's listen to the TTS-generated mispronunciations of the following words. So these are actually names of areas which are pronounced differently by the locals who are also the target audience for the course being developed. Therefore, for an improved user experience, the pronunciation must be fixed. Let's begin by opening text to speech. Notice that there is a hyperlink at the bottom of the dialog box, which reads uh, control speech with SSML formatting. Uh, clicking this will take you to the Storyline 360 SSML support page, which lists the tags that the application now supports. I'm going to go back to the text to speech window and I'm going to start adding the tags now. One thing that you need to be mindful of is that whenever you use SSML formatting, all the text should be within the SSML speak tags, irrespective of whether you are assigning a tag to that particular word or not, all the content must be within the speak tags. So in this case, because our focus is on pronunciation, I will use the phoneme tag, which has two attributes, alphabet and ph. To keep it simple, I'm just going to go ahead and assign the international fanatic uh, alphabet IPA value to alphabet. PH is the value that specifies the phonetic symbols for the pronunciation. For the PH value, I refer to the phonetics page on ling.upen.edu. It clearly lists the symbols along with the phonetic values and the examples. You can refer to any other site that works for you, but this suited me best. You notice that there is a long list of uh, symbols and the values assigned to them. From the list, I will identify the combinations of symbols that best describes the sound that needs to be generated, which in this case is Baksh. Once I have identified that combination, I'm going to add that as a value to the pH attribute. Next, I will write down the word being pronounced and ensure that the phoneme tag is closed. ETS will now pronounce the word Baksh as specified in the pH attribute instead of using the default pronunciation. I'm going to go ahead and do the same for Goth and Omar Goth. Let's uh, preview to hear the difference. This is the original. Umir Goth. And this is the fixed version. Umar Goth. Reis Khuda Baksh Goth. Reis Khuda Baksh Goth. I hope you find this useful. If you have any queries with which I can help you out, please feel free to post them in the comments below. Bye-bye.